well, I work outside the United States. What can I do? Can I get an A&P? And I'd like to... What is going on, YouTube? It is Bryce, your favorite AMP IA and Part 147 instructor. Back again with another video, and in this video, we are back talking on getting your AMP certificate specifically for those who are non US citizens. Because I get a question uh, quite a lot, which is when I did all my videos about getting your AMP eligibility requirements and these kinds of things, I got a lot of people who said, um, well, I work outside the United States. What can I do? Can I get an AMP? And I'd like to address that in this video. So, to recap with what I said before, in order to get an AMP certificate or an airframe and power plant certificate to work on US registered aircraft and return them to service, you have to meet the eligibility requirements of Part 65, which I'll show here in just a second. And you have to have either gone to a Part 147 school, like where I teach, and got a certificate of completion from that 147 school, or you must have met the eligibility requirements under practical experience, which is three years of practical experience in airframe and power plant, at which point you can be signed off on practical experience, experience by the FISDO airworthiness inspector on your 8610-2 as eligible to test. But I want to go into the, uh, the regulation here and what it says about people actually working outside the United States. And I'm gonna put this up on the screen for you to read. 65.3, certification of foreign airmen other than flight crew members. A person who is neither a US citizen nor resident alien is issued a certificate under subpart D of this chapter outside the U United States only when the administrator finds that the certificate is needed for the operation and continued airworthiness of US registered aircraft. So, to address that, you can only be issued an AMP if you are a non-US citizen and you are two things. One, working outside of the United States on US registered aircraft, and two, the administrator has found it necessary for you to be an A and P. So now I'm gonna go to subpart D. Subpart D is what uh, applies to mechanics, that is 65.71, that is CFR 14. 65.71 if you're following along. To be eligible for mechanic certificate and associate ratings, a person must be 18 years of age, read, write, speak English, and understand the English language, or in the case of an applicant who does not meet this requirement and is who is employed outside the United States by a U.S. air carrier, have his certificate endorsed, valid only outside the United States, have passed all the prescribed tests, complied with the sections of the subpart, apply to the ratings he seeks. So basically what the regulation is telling us is that if you are a mechanic outside of the United States, like New Zealand, for example, or London, maybe United Airlines, maybe, maybe Delta, I don't know, they have a maintenance facility there. I haven't actually looked into whether or not they do, we're just for the sake of the video, we'll say they do. If you work for that facility, it may be necessary that you have your AMP certificate at some point, at which point your employer can endorse you to test and then you could go through a 147 school like where I teach here in the States or you could get your AMP based on practical experience because you work for that air carrier. Um, I have had a couple of people email me questions about this and say, you know, what can you do to help me? What, what about this? What about that? Well, truthfully, there is nothing I can do to help you. I'm just an instructor at a 147 school. So if you're in this situation where you are outside the United States, working on US registered aircraft for Delta, for United, for whoever it is, the first person you need to talk to is your director of maintenance and say, hey, I would like to get my AMP certificate and whatever pay raises and accoutrement that may come with, and hopefully they will sponsor you and endorse you to do that. So there you go, everybody. I realize this is a very short video, but it is what it is. I'd like to thank you again so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, shoot me an email if it's what brings you joy and happiness in your heart. As always, go build something and be easy.